Hey everyone, this is Sharif Mansour, the OASP uh, chair here. So um, it's been a while since I've been doing these updates, um, partially because I uh, moved back from Egypt to the UK, partially also because I've taken a new role, uh, but I'm back and um, I'll be doing these uh, updates fairly regularly. So there's a couple of updates uh, that I have this time. So, and I've actually created a deck, so I'll just share that uh, in a second, but a couple of really uh, good news um, is coming up. Let me just share uh, the screen. Uh, okay, so the uh, first thing to know is, uh, as the title indicates, is membership. So there's a new members portal. So if you go to members.oas.org, you will come up with a membership portal and it will show you basically your leadership status, the type of membership you have, uh, the uh, address and the primary email it's related to, all of that in one place. So you know that whether or not your membership details are uh, kept up to date. Um, we're doing this just to uh, improve um, uh, our, um, our stock of uh, membership and be able to help you to understand basically uh, whether or not you need to renew or elsewhere otherwise. However, there's another thing to note, which is we're doing this also as part of a cleanup. Since we've moved to G Suite and I don't know, years and years and years ago, um, we need to um, we need to now, I think it's 2005 when we moved to G Suite actually, we need to now do uh, some uh, cleanup because not everyone who has an OWASP email address is an active OWASP member and therefore still have the ability to vote and still have the ability to leverage our membership uh, benefits uh, when they're currently not an active member. So there's a couple of things you should be aware. So please make sure that your membership is up to date Otherwise, uh, you'll get emails in the upcoming period to basically say that they're going to disable the account, not delete the account, just to disable it. So there's a couple of uh, dates uh, that you should know and a couple of things I'll work through. So this is not an, a new process. We're just overhauling it and cleaning it. So we've been overhauling and making sure that we disable accounts that are no longer members or so forth. The comms will continue on a regular basis. So if you are one of the people that will have the accounts disabled, then they'll reach out to you. Um, the other one is uh, current leaders, honorary, lifetime, individual, complimentary members are on an exclusion list. So if you're getting emails saying that your accounts will be disabled and you don't think you should be, um, please let Harold and the team know. Uh, however, uh, or, or Lisa, because uh, she deals with membership. However, if you know now that there's a member portal, you can look on uh, taking care of that. However, um, you, if you're a leader, the intent is you will not, um, uh, you'll be out of scope for that. So that's something to understand. Um, only folks who have obtained membership or leadership status will uh, receive a you need to take action uh, email. Um, so either you become a leader or a member, uh, a paying member. Uh, if you're not currently running an OWASP project or a chapter, that's fine, register and that should be okay. So the dates that you should know is the 5th, 12th to the 15th, the effective counts will have three times to renew or face activation. After the 15th, um, yeah, by that date, you would have received three comms between now and then. And then on the 15th, some folks uh, to renew, as soon as the renewal, their accounts will go live. At any point in time, we can stop this process if there is like a major uh, issue there. But the key thing here is check your membership. If you are the, taking advantage of OWASP um, uh, membership or benefits, uh, election is around the corner, so you want to make sure that you're eligible to run for election, either run for election and to vote. Uh, if you want to vote, please do make sure that your membership is kept up to date. Um, and with that said, the other thing is we have an OWASP store, as you've mentioned, as you can see on the main OWASP website, there is a uh, store button. And uh, with the store, uh, now we 
we can get new swag and so forth, and we can continuously uh, uh, update the store with uh, new content uh, going forward. But we have a whole bunch of things to do um, um, off, uh, off the back of that and outside of the store. But at the very least, we have a store, then we can put more uh, stuff in it. Um, so what are we doing um, at a high level? So obviously we have the events. We have the uh, OWASP um, 20th anniversary event coming up. We are updating our membership, uh, corporate membership uh, tiers. So in the past, you used to, if you're a corporate member, you would pay based on the size of your organization. We've gotten feedback from corporate members of big companies and so forth that in many cases, the security team that wants to uh, join and contribute to the OS Foundation is only in a small division of the organization. They're not the multi-million dollar org. They're just a small division in there. And we felt that that should not stop the um, uh, uh, those members and those companies from actually contributing to OWASP. So instead we have a tiering model and that tier model is based on uh, the types of contributions, perks and benefits that you get out of it. Um, so that includes the OWASP banner, what uh, benefits that you get. So um, a corporate member can send a bunch of people on training for global OWASP events and participating training events and regional events. The key note here is the participating ones um, at discounted rates. Um, uh, you can also select which project you wish to uh, contribute towards. That funding goes directly to the projects or the chapters. And even if they don't, that money is going to be allocated to projects and events, sorry, projects and chapters. Um, th there's a whole bunch of benefits uh, that will come. It was on the chat, uh, the uh, global uh, board meeting. But uh, on the whole, we're looking to uh, improve uh, the benefits there. Um, aside from that, there's a couple of policies, including sort of the expenses policy that's going to be overhauled. Um, basically, what that means is that basically we know every year projects and projects and uh, chapters and to spend this much money um, on a regular basis. So we're going to basically have a large pool for events and certain large entities. We will still have sort of allocated uh, budgets, but for the most intent is we know how much it's, everyone spends a year. The money is going to be there. As long as you make a request and it's valid, we will honor it without question. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Um, but that also democratizes sort of the, the funding because that allows other people and other projects that want to do a worthwhile activity that they're able to do that. So um, a whole bunch of exciting things going on. Um, I know the summer is coming soon and August tends to be a bit of a, a light uh, month, but I just wanted to let everyone the, the good news. And also, as you know, that we're updating the benefits for the uh, OAS members. We're looking to improve those and also the chapter and the sort of the educational committee. We uh, are looking to seeing uh, organizations wanting to um, invest a little bit more in training and in funding and we'll, we'll reach out to them soon. But on the whole, um, uh, great progress uh, on the foundation side and um, we'll catch up uh, soon with uh, another update. Okay, take care everyone. Have a great day. I'll stop sharing now and um, I'll see you on the next update. Take care.